Do you do this too? Or am I the only weirdo? Look, half my face came off. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. I have a different setup. Usually I push these stuff to the side when I'm doing a lookbook for you, but I ain't got the time. You see the clock over there? The sun's gonna set very soon. So what we're gonna do is just a super quick impromptu try on haul instead of my usual lookbooks, especially since it's casual, just keep it cute, keep it moving. So the first fit, I'm wearing it. This is one of my favorite outfits. I think I've showed you sets like this from Meshki before, but I'm all about that sweatpant life. So a lot of the stuff I'm gonna be showing you in the rest of this haul are definitely plush super cozy and comfy. Let me know what your favorite trend or style is because I'm all about the sets. Like, it keeps you looking together, smart, sleek, but super simple. No effort needed. You just pull it out, put it on, you good. So I can't, I can't complain about a good two-piece set. I also have a jumpsuit that I'm gonna try on right now. Super excited about it. If you enjoy my vlogs, you already know about this jumpsuit set that I'm obsessed with. I showed you guys a while ago. It's the perfect outfit when you don't know what you want to wear and you don't want to fuss about what goes with what. You just throw this on, it's a whole fit, you're good to go. It's the most plush sweatsuit I have. Like the inside is so soft. Talk about Charmin. <laughs> Such a door. I'm in love with this. I wish that the pink was more of a blush tone or a neutral. What is a neutral? No? I love it. It, 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 it. It, it, it. it gives me like partial prisoner vibes versus baby jumpsuit vibes. I don't know, but I still love it. And it's so warm. I wore it last week for the first time outside my house because this is kind of like a inside my house fit, truth be told, with a white bomber jacket. And it was actually a good look. What do you think? Now on sale for $35.99. <laughs> Then there's this sweater, which in theory should have my name all over it. It's a neutral tone crop sweater. And it's also super soft on the inside. I gotta protect the clothes. Do you do this too? <laughs> or am I the only weirdo? Cause look, half my face came off. Okay. <sighs> clothes clean? Cool. Gucci. So what do you think? I know the leather leggings, the vegan leather leggings aren't really a casual pick, but I love mixing up chic with casual. So what do you think? I love the color. I'm not too sure about this cut though. I think I prefer the Bay hoodie from Aloe because it's looser. When it cinches in, it just doesn't hit right. When you're skinny mini, things have to hit on the right places, but it's a really pretty color. It's kind of like that grungy neutral tone. I wish it was a little bit brighter. I don't know what sorcery that was, what type of time my mic was on, but I'm not here for it. I think I figured out what it is. I thought it was the length at first, but no, it's not plush enough, which is why it's not sitting right. It's a good, just casual basic, but when you have as much clothes as I do, you don't wanna just buy pieces to have them. You want things that are gonna fit the way you want them to, to be the right shade, and just be something you can wear for years to come in this. It's nice, it's all right, don't get me wrong. It is definitely a basic, but I don't know. I feel like even tucked in. <laughs> don't ask what I'm doing, because I don't know. It's, it's okay. It's okay, I think I prefer my other hoodie that I got four years ago, my only hoodie that I own. I was really hoping that this would look. Maybe if I... No, <laughs> it's just not it. You know I'm a sucker for a good set, but something is not hitting right with this. It must be the bottoms, because the top is snatched. On the model, these look a little more fitted, which is kind of what I was hoping for, because I'm the queen of sweatpants. So I wanted something that was gonna be a little different than what I already have. I'm here for the texture. Whenever you have texture with a neutral tone, it just takes it to another level, but, that's kind of where this ends for me. I'm not in love. I don't have the hard eyes for it. This keeps dropping. That's a problem with scoop necks when you get part of the itty bitty can be, but it's all right. It's all right. This is super breathable. Waffle knit, waffle wear. Like this is definitely more of a spring in Toronto kind of outfit, unless I put some leggings underneath it. But I, I want to love this. So you know what I'm going to try to do is shrink it. 
I'm gonna put it in the drying machine for half an hour and see if that helps. It's a cocoa friendly nude for me. It's so pretty. This is the kind of basic that you can have for years. A tea? It's never gonna go out of style. You can dress it up, dress it down. I'm wearing a white, white dynam, maybe not seasonally appropriate, but I mean, I'll throw in some black pants or black leggings if I'm wearing it this time of year, but summertime, this is definitely gonna be my summertime basic. It's super soft. This is the type of fabric I was looking for when I first ordered J-Lux. Whatever they had the first time around, that scratchy itch, that wasn't it. But this is super soft. I'm actually afraid that it's so soft that it's gonna peel easily, but we will see. Hopefully it's not Forever 21 type of fabric, because ain't Forever 21 type of price once it gets to Canada. Last piece, last fit, this is it. It's a set from Naked Wardrobe. I have a love-hate relationship with Naked Wardrobe. I ordered this last year. It took two months to come. Was it worth the wait? I can't say, but what I can say is this has me snatched body yaddy yaddy. Okay, maybe not that snatched, but it's definitely the type of outfit you put on when you want to look put together, but maybe your mind is scattered. I don't know about you, but sometimes I have those mornings where I'm like, what do I want to wear? I don't want to think about it. I can just pull out this pair. That's the best thing about sets. Even if I were to wear it as separates, this crop top, not so crew neck, gives you a sophisticated, I wouldn't even call it modern mix because I've seen this many times over the years, but I personally don't really buy things that are like this mid neck range. Usually they're either mock necks or crew necks or V necks. So it's a nice piece to add to the collection since truth be told, I only ordered these two together because the pants were sold out and I really was in need of a new pair of leggings. I had hoped that these would be more thick. It's winter over here. Your girl's skinny, so I need to have those layers to keep me warm. And besides, when I wear bodysuits with leggings like these, I don't want the lines to show here, even if they are those cons. So this is not exactly what I wanted it to do, but it's still a nice fit. The quality is nice. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a slight sheen from the stretch of this. So, you know, it gives you a better than basics kind of look. I just feel like whenever we online shop, there's always two concerns, sizing and fabric. And I did check the percentage of the type of fabric. I guess it's a spandex nylon, if that's what, I, I don't remember, it was so long ago since I ordered it. But I do, I really wish it was thicker because now the hunt continues to find the right pair of pants to replace the ones you saw on the vlog. But anyway, before I blab on, let me know down below if you wanna see a video of how I online shop, because I got some tips for you. Also, let me know what your favorite piece or outfit was in this video. If you haven't already, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that stuff to show you care. And until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, stay sane, love and later.